This is the first ever Setup Wars video, and I could not be more thrilled, guys. This is something I've been brainstorming and working on for months, and I'm finally excited to bring you guys episode number one. There have been other creators out there that have made videos where they have covered and featured one particular player's setup and their officers and all of that, but you guys know we like to do things different here on the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Setup Wars episode one. Welcome back, guys. So a couple of things on the front end, since this is just episode one of Setup Wars, I want to explain to you guys what my goal and my vision is for this series. And then again, also, I want your feedback. Let me know what you guys like about this series and this video in particular, what you don't like, what you might like to see in future Setup Wars uh, videos. And I will collect all that feedback and that will help give me an idea on how I need to proceed moving forward. I first spawned this idea because obviously I get a ton of messages from players all across Warpath, newer players, veteran players, and I've talked to so many of you guys and a lot of you guys ask me unit and officer questions, and I've seen through all of these messages, I've seen that a lot of you guys have really unique setups. And then of course, it's always fun to take a look at the big whale setups and see what they've got. And so I figured let's make a series and let's fuse the two together. Let's feature some big whale setups. Let's feature some really unique setups and let's just make it entertaining for you guys. So any feedback you have would be very appreciated. It would be very welcomed. And then if you guys are a player in Warpath and you guys have a really unique setup or if you guys are a bigger whale and want to have your units and officers featured on a future Setup Wars video, shoot me your setup. Shoot me pictures of your setup in game, preferably on Discord if you have that option. If not, then in game is fine either way, but reach out to me, we'll kind of coordinate it, and we will get you guys on a future Setup Wars video. If you guys enjoy this video, if you guys are enjoying other videos on the channel, finding value out of the videos, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And then if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link, it'll take you right into the community Discord server, whether you are a new player and have questions and want to learn, whether you're a veteran player just want to come hang out get to know people in the community doesn't matter absolutely everybody is welcome all right so now that we've gotten all of that out of the way let's go ahead and jump right into setup number one setup number one is going to be a special one for me guys this first episode of setup wars i wanted to have uh some of the players that have been with me for a long time like even before i started creating content as a little show of appreciation to them and then also sprinkle in some unique setups as well and bigger player setups there so first one is going to be cap t you guys all know and love cap t from the very very beginning of the channel he is the head cheerleader for the channel we love cap t he pisses me off more than just about anybody else in warpath but i love him and he is going to be the number one setup here on setup wars episode number one so cap t is rocking a very very solid setup i tell him he's weak all the time because i feel like it's necessary to keep him in check because he obviously does the same thing to me but the reality of the situation is, is he is not weak and I'm going to get a lot of crap from him for saying that and giving him any kind of compliment because it is very rare for me to do that. But he has got two Liberty Artillery 9.2 units. He has got a Rocket Launcher 9.2, an ATG at an 8-star, and then a Helicopter at an 8-star. So he has got two Vanguard, two Liberty, and then one Martyr unit in his ground force. And he has got a very good officer set up here for his main artillery. The very first one, we have got Argent Flame and Ant. Tanina. That is his both demoing base setup as well as his open field fighting with Artie setup. And then for the second artillery, the Liberty artillery there, he has got uh, Eye of Providence paired with Eruptor. So that is just adding another sledgehammer unit there against bases. Third unit down the list here is going to be that Martyr's Rocket Launcher. Great choice there, especially with as popular as infantry is are getting now, especially tanking bases. The Rocket Launcher does a ton, a ton of damage against infantry. Most of the time, obviously, you've got those uh, very rare well infantry units that have great officers on them, and they are just, it seems like, impossible to kill. 
but for the most part the rocket launcher does really well against infantry especially especially on base defense we've got the atg in there just for an added little bit of defensive damage same thing with the helicopter i do know cap t does depending on the situation and what we are doing he will juice that helicopter up to 9.2 um, again depending on the situation and can we can we can we take a minute guys i mean look look at this air force set. i mean what is this what is this this is a, a nine star guys a nine star can we please can we please just take a minute and have maybe a moment of silence for his air force setup i mean <laughs> Granted, he does have all level 200 Air Force units. I mean, his Air Force units might be effective enough. I don't know. It would honestly be a coin flip, truly. It would be a coin flip on if a Raven Bunker airplane would kill his units or if he would kill the Raven Air Force units. I don't know. It would be definitely a good fight for sure. All jokes aside, though, I'm picking on Cap T, totally messing with him, but obviously his priority is ground force as uh, as most players it is um and i think even though his air force is die you know it's it's not it's not the most potent thing in the entire world but his ground force is very very solid so he makes up the difference he has gone all in on ground force uh units and tech as well so again that is cap t he is in server 42 with me uh, we are going to move on to setup to setup number two, but before we do, love you, Cap T. You're my brother. Appreciate you sending me these uh, pictures so that way we could get you on this first ever episode. This second setup is another very special person to me. This is Legion. He was a longtime Server 12 HBR member. He has since migrated to Server 21, and he is a part of S21. And Legion and I go way back. He's been my guy since I like well before i even started doing content so this is another guy that is not only a really strong player but somebody that i wanted to make sure i prioritized getting on setup wars episode number one because my relationship with him uh really does mean a lot to me and to say legion is a monster of a player is a really big understatement i mean this dude is a beast he has got two 9.2 liberty artillery units a 9.2 vanguard atg and then a 9.2 uh martyr rocket launcher and then he has got an eight star vanguard super heavy but you guys can see and he is always always as long as i've known him anyway been very much geared towards uh base destruction and base to base and doing all of that and also base defense he is a beast when it comes to base defense he's got a ton of base hp built up and he has got obviously as you guys can see sledgehammer units all i know is i've never enjoyed uh having to attack his base and i don't think anybody else probably has either you guys can also see he's gotten a lot of really good exclusive lounge officers he has got uh first and foremost he's got the most devastatingly strong uh, exclusive lounge officer or officer just in general in the game right now which is going to be lady liberty paired with saber of the nation also another crazy ridiculous strong exclusive lounge officer so that is just a monster unit setup right there second liberty artillery has got argent flame and antonina so i uh, yeah that right there tells you everything you need to know about how strong he is the atg has got war machine and golden eagle the only thing i would change there and this is not really obviously a critique video by any means but the only thing that i would throw out there to maybe consider changing for him is going to be moving uh eagle into the lead spot since he is going to do a higher quite a bit higher of a damage coefficient but other than that um, i think that looks good there the rocket launcher same thing you're going to get uh 1500 damage coefficient from both i and uh berserker bear there but i would still slide i into the lead spot simply because he has a more effective skill set and then last but not least his fifth unit is obviously not anything to write home about but that is not the intended purpose he has got the super heavy in there uh strictly for the officer skills for base defense so he has got steel fighter and vox there so he is going to be adding some base defensive capabilities with those officer skills and then just just like his ground force his air force is nothing to uh underestimate he has got a 9.2 uh vanguard fighter an eight star martyr bomber and then a eight star liberty bomber so like i said you guys can see he is a monster when it comes to base defense i wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of the damage his base doles out we got another special one here this is my man tofola tofola is a freaking beast himself 
That man is a monster in many, many ways. He has got a 9.2 star Vanguard ATG. He has got a 9.2 star Martyrs helicopter, a 9.2 star Martyr artillery, a 9.2 star Liberty artillery, and then an 8 star Liberty artillery. So as you guys can see, he is geared very much towards not only a base to base setup, he also has that helicopter which he can send out to army groups. He can run independently on its own if he needs to, depending on the situation. Those artillery are devastating against bases, against units in the open field. He is just a monster. And and that ATG obviously just adds even more punch to his already crazy strong base when he does get attacked. Similar to Cap T, you guys can see Tafola has not invested really a whole lot into his Air Force. He has got a 9.1 Vanguard fighter. He has got an 8-star Vanguard fighter and then an 8-star Liberty fighter Uh Two of the three are level 200. One is only 120. Hasn't invested, obviously, too heavily into the Air Force officers either. But again, he is very much a base-to-base -base and a ground force-focused player, and he certainly does that very well. Next up on our list is going to be one of the single best leaders, R5s, in all of Warpath, my man, Vive. Again, another very special one here for me, and it doesn't take much to see that Vive is just a juggernaut in more ways than one. Same thing when we take a look at his Air Force. You guys are going to see just how ridiculously strong Vive really is. We have got five 9.2 star units. We have got a Martyrs Infantry, a Vanguard Helicopter, a Martyrs Artillery, and then two Liberty Artillery units. He has gone all in on the exclusive lounge officers as well. Exclusive lounge officers, he has got uh, Professor Payne. He's got Saber of the Nation. He's got Lady Liberty. I mean, it is just crazy how how strong Vive really is. Love his choice of officers here. The only thing that I might uh, change if I was him, not that it's wrong by any means, but I really did like the uh, unit and officer pairing Legion had where he had uh, Lady Liberty and Saber of the Nation, and then he had uh, Argent Flame and Antonina. But by no means am I discrediting what he's got here. I love what he's done. I understand why he's done it. He is a beast both in the open field, on base defense, and base to base. And he does all three of them, and he does it very, very well. Vive also probably has the strongest Air Force out of anybody that is going to be featured in this first Setup Wars video. He has got two fully juiced up 9.2 fighters. Both of them are Vanguard, as you can see. He has also gone in on Darkwing, the exclusive lounge fighter off. Officer. And then his third is a Liberty Bomber. And then he's also got um, Rictus Reaper on that Liberty Bomber. Vivi has also gone in really heavy on the plane tech. I know he has invested into and completely maxed out the plane tech in the advanced combat tree. I know he was working on plane tech on his modern war tree as well. I don't know if he has completely maxed plane tech for modern war yet, but if he hasn't, I know he is very, very close to it. So he's a beast on the ground and he is a beast in the air, just all around, just absolutely gets it done. And then the last and final setup here for Setup Wars episode number one is going to be my boy Ruben. I love me some Ruben. He is, again, another monster, monster player. You guys can see we have four 9.2 two star units we have got a 9.2 martyr howitzer a 9.2 martyr rocket launcher a 9.2 liberty light tank and a 9.2 vanguard helicopter and then an eight star liberty artillery unit so he has pretty much checked all of the boxes for being able to be effective both on base defense have some offensive and open field capabilities and then also he is great in a base-to-base -base situation. Not that he ever really does base-to-base. -base. I know he does some, but I know he's not like super geared towards that, but he has got the setup to do it all if he wants to. He has also gone pretty heavy into the exclusive lounge officers. You guys can see we've got Saber of the Nation there. He's got Professor Payne. So he has also put some money into his account for these officers. And then Ruben's Air Force is also nothing to uh, sleep on. He has got a 9.2 star Liberty Bomber. He has got a 9.1 one star Vanguard fighter and then a level 60 eight star uh, Liberty Bomber. That Liberty Bomber is a Rome specific special Air Force unit. So kind of disregard that. But you guys can see he's got the standard Liberty Bomber at 9.2 and then the standard Vanguard fighter at 9.1. And he's a monster. I mean, 
plain and simple, Ruben just is a beast. All right, guys, that is going to wrap us up for Setup Wars Episode 1. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy it? What would you guys like to see changed about it, if anything? Let me know your feedback in the comments. I will read them all, and I will take them all into consideration. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to all of you five that sent me those pictures, so that way I could actually feature you in this video. This first one was going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of showing love to the guys that were with me for a very long time, even before I started doing content. So this was very special for me to be able to do as well. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today, guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.